What is going on, YouTube? I have part two of my epic uh, explosive weapons only challenge on the map town. We are currently at round eight. We have the RPG. We are trying to get the war machine. Um, yeah, let's continue with this challenge. Been kind of slacking lately on putting it out there, but I, for some reason, the first time, first attempt putting it out, it failed to upload. And I have to recommentate it because it's like not, you know, the date that I did it. And the commentary is a little old, so we're redoing the commentary. Whip out the pistol, run my trains. Yeah, try going through that train when they're all coming at you like that. So I was looking at the new zombies map, Buried, and I'm digging it. Uh, I like the new ray gun. I like that gun. Um... I wonder if they're going to still have the original ray gun in there or not. Double maximum. Oh, we'll have to see. They probably will. We'll have to see. I'll definitely try getting a tr uh, Mob of the Dead challenge sometime this week or next week. Uh, I gotta get that going. I don't want to use pistols first, or snipers, or shotguns, or... Not sure what challenge to do in that one. Cannot wait till see what they're gonna do with Map Pack Four. I have a theory on that. I'm hoping this is what I'm hoping they make an Easter egg for the Map Pack Four to where um, it brings back Nikolai Tank, Takio, and Samantha from Moon. And, um, and then it uh, does a sequel story mode, going back with Black Ops Home where we play all the maps and there's all different Easter eggs and stuff we gotta do and stuff. That'd be pretty cool if they did something like that. And then the last map, they get revenge on Rick Tolfman and then bam. Or something like that. That'd been cool. If they did something to that with that uh, last map pack, or they did a variation to where there's five to six zombie maps on map pack four, they bring back like the old school maps like D Reese and Ascension and uh, so, um, Kino. Rucked in uh, Shinonuma. That'd be pretty cool to have those redone. I don't know, I'll have to wait and see what they're going to do with Map Pack 4. Right now we're focused on 3. Um, those of you who don't know, you probably do. It comes out July 2nd for Xbox and then probably, I would make a guess, August 2nd for PS3. And then they're going to skip a month. So they're going to have September be the informational month towards the end. And then October, November will be the next set of map packs that come out. Get a nuke there. So that would be my guess. And they're bringing back Summit in map pack 3, which is pretty cool. I love that map. So, so far they redid. We're going to have Nuketown. Uh, 
that firing range and now summit. Which is pretty cool. We're at round 11 now. Can't wait. Oh, there's a, another thing I'm having problems with this game so far. The stupid thing freezes and loses sound. And this happened to a lot of my friends online. We get a serious zombie game going and then the sucker freezes or loses its sound. I wish they would fix that because it's really annoying. It's been doing that since the game has been out. And the game's been out for... Seven months now. Almost eight months, and they still haven't fixed the problem. In Black Ops 1, I don't remember having that much problems. But, it's hard killing these dogs with explosives. It is a pain in the butt. Round 12. Yeah, quicker vibe and joy you're not. Dude, the RPG upgrade is amazing. Holy crap. It's got 8 bullets in the gun and 40 extra, so 48 bullets altogether. Pretty insane, in my opinion. He had a massive train behind him. <laughs> I'm just shooting it around that zombie. <laughs> Dang, about that there. Remember, I can't use my starting pistol. I missed him. I don't know how I missed him. Alright, that's round 12. Yeah, they shut off my power uh, last night to do some tests or whatever. So I couldn't really do anything to make, you know, edit videos or mm, stuff like that. So, yeah, I couldn't do anything last night. Or I would have had this all commentated and had it uploaded to YouTube right now, but I didn't do it, so. Oh well. And I've been trying to get part two of it. It's just it's been hard. Got a lady coming out to the house, so my parents can get alone and I've been trying to get my room clean and get work. Haven't really had time to upload, but I'm trying. <laughs> I'm like, what? They're still spawning? Damn. Get a double points. We're gonna need all the points we can get here. All the points. And I also like to take the zombies through the lava. Because it makes a chain reaction. Right there, which is nice. It kills multiple zombies. We got over 200 kills so far.
Now we can finally use the starting pistol since we upgraded it. It became the Mustang and Sally, so now I have a secondary explosive weapon. So now this challenge will really start kicking off right now. You know it was already kicking off. With the RPG! RPG! Damn, that was a risky getaway there. And I also have a mob of the, another mob of the dead escape uh, in the tub of blood area where you put the spoon in. So we'll get that out there. <sighs> For your guy eyes to see. Um, what I'll do after I commentate this, I'll commentate the other escape. Get that up. And delete the figures. Make sure they are fine. Tell me behind me. Make it a room. There's a max ammo over there. I'm going to try and get it. It's like, hey man, you're not getting that max ammo. We're drunk motherfucking zombies. We're going to freaking come kill you because you ruined the party. Man, <laughs> it looked like a bunch of zombies were just, like, having a good time, chilling in the bar. And as soon as they saw me, they didn't want me to wreck their party, so they freaking come charging out at me, saying, No way, Thunder! We're gonna kill you! <laughs> so. Oh, this round's about to wrap up. That's the lone zombie there. Kill him. Pick up stamina. One of my favorite perks of all time. Doing good at round 15. We only have uh, 10 rounds to go to make 25. Love the insane 14. You get sound, you hear the zombie behind you, look around. Oh, shoot, run away. Here's my tip to you if you do not run insane 14 on any of your zombie maps. Any of zombies. Black Ops 1, we're on insane 10. Black Ops 2, we're on insane 14. The only reason I say that, it's like having stamina. And uh, if you buy stamina, it's like having stamina up too. And I fortunately go down there. Because it makes you, I don't know, herky jerky more. And it makes the them harder to kill you. Unless they trap you like that, right there. Um. So that's my tip to you, because it makes it feel like you're going so fast, so, I mean, it helps me out. Never used to play on it. It took me a while. You're going to probably have to start out five and then go up. I started with three and then worked my way up. After three, I skipped one and went six, then went eight, and then went nine, and then went ten. This one I went right to 10, then I went up to 12, and 13, and then I tried it on 14, and then ever since that, I've been playing on 14 ever since this game came out, and, uh, excuse me, I'm liking every minute of it, I'm glad they kind of went up on the insaneness, because I played Black Ops 1 the other day, and oh my god, it felt so dang slow. Even though I was on the highest sensitivity, but, yeah. It just makes me faster, it seems, so. We can't do 14. I believe this gameplay, since I played a little multiplayer, I, uh, put it on 13. Didn't realize it was on 13, so if you can't... Alright, this video is about to wrap up. Peace.